Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and in the, in the previous tutorial, first let me tell you that is uh, we have successfully allowed a user to send message uh, with I mean in any group he wants. So it is let's say if I go to the friend zone and here if I type message that is how are you okay. So if I write this then I will simply uh, click on the send button then here you can see that is the friend uh, zone uh, is updated with a new child that is the message which is this one okay and it gets the current uh, time in the 12 hour format with am and pm and the date the current date the message and the name of the user that is which user sent that message so now what we will be doing in this video tutorial is that to retrieve the uh, each group message messages and display it to the user here so yeah let's do that so go to the end of studio and here on our group chat activity uh, inside our own create method here we can simply say that is or instead of that whenever this uh, group chat activity starts whenever user click on I mean here that is whenever uh, user come here to any group that is let's say if I click on any group that is Android developers then whenever we come inside that group we should display all the previous messages first so for that what I will do instead of uh, calling any method here we will create a method on start so as you know that the on start method execute whenever uh, an activity starts whenever we go to that activity so inside this on start method and here we can say group name ref which is basically a reference if I show you which is basically a reference to our group uh, groups node which is the parent node and that group name uh, in which a user is going to send a message and to see what people are doing inside that group okay so by using that ref we can say group name ref at child event listener new child event listener and here you can see we have on child added on child change removed and on child move method are created successfully and also this on cancelled so make sure to first put a semicolon here so here uh, we will be using the own child added and the own uh, child changed okay so first here we can say if data snapshot dot exist if the group is exist okay we have to check this validation that is if you want to add a new child or you can say send a new message then here we can uh, simply call a create call a method we will create it now which is display messages okay by this name and by using this data snapshot we will retrieve our messages so we can simply pass that data snapshot object here and the same you can copy paste this also here inside this on child change method so here you can also pass that and now let's create this method create method display messages in our group chat activity so this is the method which we created okay let's cut this from here and we will uh, move it down below at the bottom okay so let's pass that here and now here we can retrieve and display all the messages for each specific group so we will be using an iterator and let's call this as iterator equals to data snapshot dot get children and it should get the children by using the iterated method that is it will move line by line and it will uh, get each message for each specific group okay now in order to get each message uh, by li line by line and their key values that is this is the key this is the values okay so that is the date message time and name of the user so for that we will use a while loop and uh, inside that we will uh, use uh, the has next method so we can say iterator dot has next and then here in the while loop we can say string so let's check the child so the first one is that so here we can simply say chat that we will store it inside the string type variable so it will be in the form of string so we can say string and then put two braces again to put, put uh, two braces and here we can set it a snapshot after this brace by using the iterator dot next dot get value 
so it will uh, first get the first child uh, which is the date after that we have a message so for the message we can simply copy this and then paste that here down below paste it three times okay so the second one is the message so here we can say message so this will get the second child which is the message and then we have name and then time so change this to name and this one to time so it will get, uh, get the fourth child which is the uh, time so yeah now we have to display it so it is simple here we can simply say display text messages which is basically our text view if I show you then this one okay on our uh, group chat activity so we will display it on that so we can say dot append first we will display the uh, name the chat name which is basically the username and then we will in the next line so first let's uh, give it some design that is we will add a colon and let's move it to the next line and the next line we will uh, display the message so we can say chat message this is basically a concatenation sign okay which is plus then plus in the next line we can display the chat time and date so we can say chat time and then add uh, some spaces between uh, the time and date okay so here after this we can display the chat date plus and for the next message add some new slash n slash n and slash n so yeah that's it and uh, now let's run the app so first let me confirm the chat name and on the next line we will display the message and then we will display the chat time and then the chat date so yeah everything is okay now and now let's run the app so come here to the database so these are our groups and uh, we have three users Mohammed Ali, Mohammed Gulshan and GR Roberts and I uh, test the app I mean we will test the app using these three devices so that we can check either the group chat is working or not so first of all uh, let's come here to the groups and if I go to the coding cafe then here you can see it retrieve all our previous messages okay and now let's uh, come here also using this device to the coding cafe group and also here we can go to the coding cafe group so now we are inside our coding cafe group okay and you can see that and now let's Mohamed Ali will now reply uh, to this all I mean to uh, both of these friends so let's say here I can simply write uh, I am fine thanks okay I am logging by uh, my own account I mean inside this phone okay Muhammad Ali and you can see here Muhammad Ali I am fine thanks and if I show you then here you can also see that okay if I show you then you can see that Muhammad Ali I am fine thanks and now let's say from this device I can send a message hello I am also fine thanks how are you okay and if I send it and here you can see Mohammed Gulshar. Hello, I am uh, also fine. Thanks. How are you? Okay. And here you can see that. Okay. Alongside with the name. And now uh, one thing which we will uh, fix is that uh, if you see, if I send message, that is, let's say, I'm going to send another message. So if I send this, then you can see. Uh, I mean, we have to uh, add some scrolling here. If I show you, then this is basically the scrolling but here we need uh, an automatic scrolling that is whenever a new message is added then it should scroll automatically here I mean so that we can check and see our new message here directly okay I mean we will add the scrolling uh, to it the automatic scroll up to the bottom here okay so that a user can check so that a user uh, do not need to scroll uh, manually again and again for a new message okay so we will add uh, an automatic scrolling to this app in the next video tutorial if we go back okay let's uh, start chatting in the friend zone and also let's uh, come here to the friend zone group then you can see it uh, basically retrieve all the previous messages uh, which uh, GR Robert sent to everyone okay and if I click here on the friend zone 
then also you can now say I am fine so if I send this then you can see Muhammad Gulshir says I am fine the current time and date and also let's reply from here I am also fine thank you dear so let's click send and if I show you then you can see Muhammad Ali and also here Muhammad Ali sent this message so as I told you we will fix the scrolling problem uh, in the next video tutorial okay so that it can automatically send the messages here above and the scrolling should move below automatically okay so that it can show us the new message so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel thumbs up for this video and yeah see you guys in the next video bye for now